Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we are week three on our Christmas prep course and we're going full steam ahead. So we're not pumping those brakes. We are making sure that you are powering through. We eased you in and now we're gonna start applying the pressure. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do. It means that you will get notified if you click the, the little bell icon that is. And if you are in any groups or anything where there are Etsy shop owners that need this kind of help, definitely, definitely share this video, share this course with them. Honestly, you will be helping someone out so, so much by doing that. And that is the goal for this channel, is for me to help as many Etsy shop owners as I can. But this week, what we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be keyword hunting. Now, we're gonna be doing it for existing products and for the products that we chose last week. So this week's exercise is twofold. So number one is to redo any expired listings and add new keywords. Number two is to find Christmas keywords for our holiday products. So you are gonna be doing quite a lot of keyword research this week and I do apologize. Um, I have got lots of videos on my channel about specifically how to do this. And if you are in the Shortcut to Success course, I go into it so, so, so much more in depth. Um, so I'm not gonna be going through exactly how to find keywords because chances are you kind of know the drill with this, you know how to find keywords but definitely we want to redo our existing listings first. The reason why we are doing them both and we're not just doing the Christmas keywords, we're also redoing some of our expired listings is purely because not everyone that is looking for a Christmas gift is going to type in Christmas gift for best friend. Someone that is looking for a Christmas gift for her best friend is probably gonna literally just be typing in gift for best friend. And if you're literally just using Christmas keywords like secret Santa gift for best friend or gift under five pounds, something like that, you're gonna be missing out on the searches that are being done by people that aren't even using holiday keywords. So it's definitely a good thing to do just so you are covering all of your bases. So when I say expired listings, it can mean anything from literal expired listings to those that just aren't selling as well as you had hoped. So obviously I'm not gonna be going in depth as to how to do specific keyword research what I would say is definitely specifically for the holiday season purpose think of gifting keywords don't think about actually describing physically what it is think about how someone might be searching for it if they were wanting it for a gift for a specific loved one if you are doing products that are currently getting some kind of interest in regards to views favorite sales but you still want to boost it up a little bit I would say literally change three tags or less. I wouldn't go any more in depth into it unless they are physically expired or literally getting no joy whatsoever. So once you have done that, it is now time to have a look for our Christmas keywords. So in the same way that you did your keyword research for the last task, do this for your Christmas keywords. Now, when I will be doing this, I'm personally gonna be using eRank. It is the tool that I always use for my Etsy keyword research, as well as other places as well. But the biggest thing I can say here is number one, think about how someone's shopping for holiday gifts for mum, sister, dad, friend, whatever, are gonna be searching for your product. And the second thing is to always, always, always make a note of the keywords you have used so that you can get them out of there after Christmas because there's no point keeping your Christmas keywords in there after Christmas because they're just dead weight. So definitely, definitely, definitely make a note of them before you go off and forget what they are because then it's gonna be such a nightmare trying to go through them and get those Christmas keywords out. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope that by this time next week, you will have your keywords done and ready and dusted and listed for your expired listings or your listings that you want to basically jazz up in the keyword sense <laughs> and also find Christmas keywords for your new or those products that you want to push for Christmas. I will be going through the 13 week Christmas prep course live in that Facebook group. The link is in the description box below. And also don't forget to, to get your 30 days to a kick butt Etsy shop workbook because that is also amazing. And if you have an Etsy shop that you're wanting to launch or a new Etsy shop, that is gonna give you so much value. So don't forget to grab that. But for now guys, I shall see you for the next installment of this 13-week Christmas prep course next Friday. Bye everyone!